Okay, so it's the Argo 136 XP. That XP gets you the nicer seats and the color and I think a couple other little things. <clears throat> but I came across this one. It is a beauty. Sit inside, 13 and a half footer, tandem. It's the Ram X plastic. This is a premium. So it is lighter, makes the kayak a little lighter, having that thin Ram X. This one has the really nice seats in it, the ergo form, excuse me, ergo fit, they call it in this one. But uh, kind of memory foamish pads in all the parts of the seat, even here on the where your legs hang off. Double adjustable, little end tabs, nice supportive seat back, bottle holders, bottle holders here, little storage here. I don't know if that's dry or not, I'd test that out. I always keep my phone in a baggie. But little cup holders everywhere for the float trip. Put some beers in there. Little room up in front of the foot here. A little sand up there, but put a little something up there. Maybe room for a little bag or something here. That little cubby. And then there's a room behind the seat here you can put stuff. But this uh, liner goes to this storage compartment. This is a really neat feature on this kayak. It's got some stains, a couple of beer cans in there when I got it, but still looking good, still solid. I scrubbed it, but this spreads out really big and there's water in there because I just washed it, but I'm gonna dry that out. But this spreads out really big. You can see it coming up to the back of the seat. So you get a little storage you can get to from the back seat here. And then you've got the main storage back here that's uh, I think that's dry storage once you get it all the way dried out. But uh, nice drain plug, strong carry handles. Um, like I say, the color scheme is, is probably the coolest thing about this one. Other than the fact that it's a sit inside tandem. I think last year with the shortage, the kayak companies stopped making tandems in order to make, uh, you know, just a couple of the cheaper single kayaks and kind of pump out as many as they could. So tandems were on hold and they are in short supply right now. This is probably one of the one of the nicer ones. I keep falling in love with this thing. Look at it with its paddles. Beautiful. Awesome kayak. So fun to kayak together like that. <laughs> Has the kind of room of a canoe and it seats two people, but it is a kayak. You know, you sit down lower to the water. It's lighter, easier to move than a 100, 110 pound canoe. I hear a lot of people saying they're switching from canoes to kayaking. And a lot of them to tandem kayaks first, and then maybe on to singles later. Get some good shots out for you. Good way to get a new paddler acquainted to kayaking. Do the tandem, and keep an eye on them, coach them, teach them. You're sitting right there so you can see what they're doing. And this thing is pretty manageable. So great kayak to learn in. It's not particularly wide. Some of the tandems are wider, so you need a longer paddle, but I think this one's just a little wider than a normal kayak. So you use pretty much a normal, your normal size paddle on it. Might think about maybe getting one just a little longer. Check it out and see. Has this little kind of drag skeg on it. That piece is removable, so once you bash it and beat it up, you can put a new one on there. This one's in pretty good shape, has some a couple of scrapes on it, normal wear and tear on the bottom. But 
but overall, great condition. Argo 136 XP. Like I say, the XP is the higher trim level. There is an Argo 136 and heck, probably a lot of others, but uh, just not a whole lot available right now. Really desirable yak. I'd like to put a motor on this thing. Get a trolling motor going on that. It's got room for a couple of batteries. You could mount the battery center. You know, maybe one in the middle there, one back here. But uh, make a great trolling motor kayak. Has a ni nice back deck. Accessible, so you can reach under there. Remove the mount if you want to. This is a beauty. Get another shot, couple shots at it, see. Just for the archives. Get a side view. It does have both uh, paddle holders. It's got a bungee holder on each side for both the paddles. Great looking kayak. Guys, thanks for watching.